we're sitting here in uh, Indiana at TA uh, getting ready to get a tire changed out so I thought I'd show you the procedure of how they go through changing a tire out and doing an alignment so hope you enjoy here's the tire that we're having changed out it as you can see there's a lot of uh, high and low spots on it it's uh, got a lot of uh, shaking while it's going down the road here they're jacking the truck up getting ready to take the tire off They're waiting for the air to drain out of the tire. Now they're breaking the bead loose on the tire, getting ready to remove it. They're putting a lubricant around it. Usually it's a soapy water. It helps the, to be able to take the tire off a little bit easier. It takes away the friction on it. Put that on there to make it easy or easier to come off, right? So is it better to uh, change the tires out than do the alignment or just... Uh... I prefer to do the alignment. Here they're getting ready to remove the tire. The... tool they're using makes it real simple to remove it. It pulls the first layer up and then they take it back down and pulls the second layer back up. Getting ready to put on the new tire. It's a directional so it goes on one certain way This is what they put the tire in to air it up. It will contain the tire if it uh, blows out. They are balancing the tire right now. I was talking to him earlier and I was telling him about uh, some companies putting tennis balls inside the tires to keep the alignment and he also said that they use golf balls too and he says they work really well keeping alignment it's 12 ounces out now he's uh, putting sticky weights on the inside of the rim to balance the tire to zero
graffiti. So what's that you're sticking under the tires? The uh, turn plates. Jack this thing up a little bit. What's they for? What are they for? For the alignment. That's so I can measure the, the whatever you want to call it, the steer axle. The line's blanking on it. Here they are twerking the tire. That's a torque wrench that they use. It snaps when it's tight. They are putting the levels on it to check the how far out of alignment the truck is. It goes on each set of tires. He was telling me that the box is like a level that connects to the other uh, box. It's like a string line and it shows how far of, a, of alignment it is on each direction. They're taking the measurement of the tire here. He's punching everything into the computer right now. Now he's in the cab of the truck and he's turning the wheels watching the screen. He's trying to hit the center point for each screen with the tires. Reading shows up as being three thirty seconds out. Now he is back here undoing the bolts on the right rear. He's going to be putting spacers in between. It's horribly dark in here, so it's hard to see. So they said the front tires are in spec. Back was on this, on the driver's side, it was all right. Passenger side needed uh, 3 30 seconds shims put in it. To get it aligned, that was so it wasn't out of alignment too much, actually. Okay, you couldn't see too well last night, so I'm showing you this morning how they got this in alignment. They uh, took and undone this bolt and this bolt in the back. Uh, it was out of alignment on, on this end right here. So they shimmed it. So this, they took, uh, three little metal shims right here uh, put them in between uh, in between and uh, tighten it back down and put it back in alignment that's what they was doing last night when uh, you really couldn't see hope you enjoyed the video uh, the truck, truck is driving a lot better uh, no pooling uh, and no vibration to it uh thank you for watching and 
I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.